Hey folks, it's Mangrel. Welcome back to the channel. And in this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can modify your PIDs and your beta flight settings out on the field using the MSP DisplayPort, aka Canvas Mode. Now to do this, you're going to need either an O3 Air Unit and the O3 system because O3 does natively support uh, Canvas Mode. I've got a link on how you can set that up. I will link you in the video description. So either you need to have an O3 system, a Goggles V2 or a Goggles 2, or you're going to need your Cadex Vista, your original air unit, your air unit light, any of those things, and the WTFOS, which allows you to get the canvas mode natively on your V1 or your V2 goggles. Hey, I've got a video on that as well, so if you want to go down that route, I will link you in the video description. But ultimately, the reason for creating this video is when we first got the DJI system, there was a very specific menu item within the within the remote that let you modify those PIDs. Now with the O3 system, you know we're out in the field, we're trying to increase those P's, we're trying to increase those D's, and there is no menu. So it left me wondering, how do you actually do this out in the field and do a bunch of folks with the new system, the new O3 system, actually know how to do this? So I'll show you how you can actually do that. And for the recording of this, I'm going to use the Goggles V1 and I'm going to use my Cadex Vista with the WTFOS. Functionality wise, it's exactly the same. However, I just like the look and feel of the HD OSD on this guy a bit more. Now that we have everything connected and turned on, it's very simple to access the menu. You can see here why I like to use the V1 goggles because it just looks so much nicer in terms of the OSD. But all you're going to do is you're going to go throttle middle stick. You're going to go like this and then you're going to go up. And this is going to give you your menu here and you have the ability of now modifying a lot of these elements here. You can modify, for example, your alarms for the on-screen display. You can also go all the way down and you see I'm navigating using the right controller stick. I can go profile, I can modify my profile, so one, two, three. And I can also start modifying the PID gains here. So you see my D, my P and I's. I can modify all of these right there on the field very, very easily. And then I can, of course, save and exit when I get to the screen there. So I can say save, exit, you know, exit, save, exit, or reboot. So a very quick video just to show you how you can do this out in the field. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment, and stay tuned for more videos.